So, I got a question Hi, for you guys. guys. They can't see you. Hi, guys. Okay. Fine. Um, every time I come in this garage, she has to come with me, uh, either to help with the sawing or uh, help with uh, a couple of the axes I've restored. She had to help with the rasping. Um, when I'm carving spoons, sometimes she has to come and carve spoons of her own. Yep. The thing I wanted to ask you guys about, let's get back on track, is about a month ago I borrowed a table saw because mine no longer works. It's probably just a short in the, um, in the switch or something, but I don't have time to deal with it right now. So I borrowed a table saw for another project, and while I had it, I took advantage of the fact that I had these, um, I had some logs that were too small for carving spoons with. So what I decided to do was make some um, coasters to put on my Etsy store. Um, they're a little burnt from the blade, but I'm going to sand that off now that I've got a, a belt sander. My wife had a really cool idea that I want to ask you guys about. She said that after it's sanded, it would be really nice to have, to put like a matte varnish or shellac or whatever on, on the surfaces, but then along the edges, have something really glossy. I think that's a really cool idea, and that's what I'm gonna do. But I just wanna know. Really? So, what do you guys think I should use? Um, I know nothing about shellac and stuff like that. Um, for spoons and stuff, I use tongue oil because it cures. For like my ax handles, I use um, boiled linseed, of course, like almost everyone I know. For my knife blades and stuff, and ax blades, I use mineral oil. Because any of them might end up being used for like food prep or carving a spoon. So I don't want anything that's not food safe going on the blades of anything. So that's kind of where my expertise ends. Um, so what do, you, what do you guys think I should use? Something really nice that will give a really nice matte finish for the surfaces and then a really high gloss thing for around the edges. Um, I also did a little birch log that was, again, too small for spoons. But here's the issue. As it dries, I'm trying to get this close enough. As it dries, like it's starting to, the bark is starting to separate. So what I'd like to do is fill that somehow, keep the bark on there, and then just, I'm gonna do matte all around. Because I, I don't think this will look good glossy, but I think, you know, with a nice matte finish, obviously I'm gonna find a way to take all this off without ending up peeling the whole thing. Like maybe just sand it or something. I don't know. I'm going to come up with something. I've got a couple of pieces here that are no good for anything that I'll, I'll practice on first. Camille? So, what do you guys think? Resin? Epoxy? How would I... Some sort of syringe to get it in there without... You know, without getting it everywhere? Or do I just get it everywhere, dunk the whole thing, and then sand it down? I don't know. Um, as I said, I'm really casting around in the dark. And, I, like, I have to sand these, these surfaces anyway, because this is just cut, you know? Like, I don't know if you can see. now. you can't see because the lighting in here is... Ah, there. See those lines? That's from the saw blade. Can I see? Sure. Those lines? So, let's see the lines. Oh, yeah. Can we make a happy face on it? Can we make a happy face on it? No. Not right now. No. But we could make a happy face on this. Here's something else that I decided to make. It was like some sort of, maybe it'll be Christmas tree ornaments. Maybe it'll be like a, a oh, to hang on a door or something, you know, Camille's room. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be yet. But I'm going to try to make it really cool. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, cool. High five. Why? Because I asked. Don't you leave me hanging. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? I'm open to suggestions. Um, as I said, I'm not great with, with shellac and varnish and stuff. Anything that'll work, that'll protect the wood, um, that hopefully won't change the hue too much. Drop me your suggestions down below. Drop me a PM if you want to, because I really want to get this done. I think it's going to be amazing when they're finished. P.S. Don't judge me by the mess of this, this garage. I've said it before and I'll say it again. One day it's going to be organized and it's going to be a nice workshop, but we're just working on too much else right now, so one day. So that's about it. If you like this video, then please share it and give me a smiley thumb. 
If you don't like it, then give me a frowny thumb. That's all she wrote. Thanks for watching, guys.